Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is Sunderland, it is Bright Lights, it is episode 65 of Bright Lights. We're here with a massive game here against Florentina, where, look, it is going to be a massive game. We are going to see the Florentina and the Olympiacos game um, in this game here. In terms of the league, we have finally lost in the league. We did lose to Liverpool 2-1 in not a tight contest. It's the first time we haven't conceded more than four goals at Anfield, so there's a positive in that. The more the negative thing is, is that we had chances in this game, couldn't bury him. We had chances against Everton in the Cabaret Cup. We played our B-side. We had 70% possession at halftime. They didn't even have a shot. New and new. There we are. With the first chance they had with Tom Davies from distance, they scored. And then in the end, the game opened up as we went for it and we conceded the second late doors. Look, just not been good enough. We and I've been saying it in the stream. I actually don't know how we won seven games in a row and we deserve to lose against Daniel Liege because we have not been good enough. The system is not working all of a sudden. I don't know why. It's been working for three years here. You know, we went from a poor, you know, bottom half, struggling, may stay up, may not side, to the system that we're on right now as we fought long and hard, we tinkered with it. And this system has transformed us from a bottom half, slightly relegated Fred side to top half, European side, battling for top four. All of a sudden, this season has not worked. And you might be saying, Damien, that's strange. You've won seven games in a row. You lost to Everton. It does happen. You lost. Just, the chances we create and miss is just uh, beyond me. It is a joke. The, some of the chances that we miss is a joke, and we can't put the ball in the back of the fucking net. I honestly believe that we're going to dominate this game against Florentino. We're going to lose 3 0 like we did against Lazio. But we'll see how we go. No one has, has caught on. I am riled the fuck up because we can't finish the simple shit. No one's having a good game. No one's having a good time of it in terms of strike force. Nobody. Anyhow, we are going to go with Diogo in goals. Yes, not Smithies, because this game's too freaking important. Burgess, Daniel, Ives, De Silva, Dossett, Godin, Haller, Thomas, Adrian, and Marquez. Smithies getting here. I can't do that to you. you. You're good enough to play here. You know, it, it, it's Smithies, isn't it? He is good enough to play. He's on a 7.1 in the league. Anyhow, it is first team. It, it, this is the most important game. There's a part of me that wants to move to 4-2-3-1 again. Or 4-3-3, but play 4-2-3-1 actually with two sixes. And just see if that creates something. Because I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Hala, Adrian, Marquez, Nagai, Godin, Dosek, De Silva, Ives, Daniel, Burgess, and Smivies. We are going to get into the dressing room. We are going to tell him we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. There's a lot more to come from these boys. Can we go out there and do it? We shouldn't be as wild up. We're top in the Premier League after seven, eight games, but we don't care. Anyway, Frontina in the purple. We've got Fred that everyone would have seen last episode. Fred is one of the better players that I've seen come out of Brazil. He looks unreal. And he scored five goals and eight appearances for Brazil. Um, and then there's us. Burgess head of Daniel actually headed smartly back to Smithies, and there we go. Can we just go and play some good football? And can we at home put the ball in the back of the net? Just go or go up. I don't care if it's from a corner. Daniel, get there. He doesn't. Ives, get in. Look, that's the second time this year in the Europa League it's taken a tackle to pull the ball to go in the back of the net. That's how we're scoring, ladies and gentlemen. Tackles into the back of the net. You saw it last episode, you see it here. Look, at the end of the day, what else was going to happen? Daniel's header should be a free kick on the keeper. Ives has impeded his dive. However, Daniel beats him with the header. Ives gets lucky. We're one new up. It's fine, right? This is a must-win game. Haller now. Ball in, back post. Adrian! Chances like that! The guy plays for France! He puts it over the bar. No one can tell the pressure's getting to me here. Adrian, 16 free kick taken. Good. Oh, my God. That's how he scores his goals, Nicholas. I reckon out of the four goals he scored this season, two, maybe three, have been from free kicks. I don't know if you want that in your striker. It's a good attribute to have, but there we are. Great free kick around the rule. And to, be, to be honest, Krangio should probably deal with it, but he doesn't. That's our first chance on target when 2 new up. Hello with the ball back post. Krangio will claim. Would have been nice for a better ball in there. Maybe we could you know, do something with it. Anyway, Krangio now. Can we just, look, force him long, win the second ball, and then we'll be all right. There we are. Don't need a header it. Puts Daniel under unnecessary pressure and he does lose out. It's just simple. Just take a touch. Anyway, Daniel gets beat. Politino with the ball there. Watch him score the first time they come forward. 100% effort, bang. I know this game too well. I know fucking football manager way too well. Victor with the goal, 2-1. <laughs> Happened against Everton, happens here. The first chance. And it all stems because Burgess has enough time to bring the ball down, take a touch, and keep it. But no, he gives a header to a 50-50. We lose it, and then that happens. Great strike from the lad, but I don't care. Look at that. First shot goal. 100% when there's two shots, two. We've got to be doing this game 2-2. Two, two. In just a second. A joke. Can we please make use of our dominance? The guy flicks it to nobody. Anyway, how's the silver kept it in? I don't know. Dosek. The silver. Dosek. 
Keep it. Nagai, out the other side. Surely we got... Oh, my days, Thomas. That's his first goal for Sunderland, and what a strike. What a goal from Thomas. And we're 3-1 up. Once again, though, it's not from us creating and putting away clear cut chances. It's a moment of individual brilliance, and that's what worries me. Anyway, Thomas gets the ball, turns his man, and what a bullet. It's actually taken to deflection, and how it deflects like that, I don't know. But there we go. I thought it was just the ball moving in the air. 3-1 up in a game that we must win. What's happening with Olympiacos as well? You know, we want them to draw over there and standard. Maybe they're not playing right now. Maybe they're playing later than us. But there we go. Half time, three one up. Just don't bottle it. I don't usually say don't get complacent, but don't get fucking complacent because you must win this game or else you won't go through in Europe. Dosek with the ball. Mark my words, I mean that too. Because Olympiacos in Greece, we've seen her stay in the age can match it toe to toe with us in last episode. And Florentine have got a very good squad. They have better players in better areas than us. We got better players in other areas though. Hello, back post. Daniel should win. Another clear-cut chance goes begging. Just header it down. Against every other side that we play against, they score those headers. We put them over the bar for fun. Watch them score the free kick. Politano's free kick, what a strike. It's wide. Just come on, boys. Thinking about a change. De Silva throws in the Dosek. Dosek now. Into De Silva. Finds Dosek. Come on, just keep it. 100% pass. Can't afford to lose it here with their high press. Got him now. Great boy out to Marquez. Marquez. Halla! What a save. Double save. Just put it in the back of the net. Just put it in, please. Halla. Back post headed away. Adrian Marquez can't get there. Fred running at it. And we know how good Fred is. Bird is what a tackle. Dossett. Back to Smithy. Just be the end of the highlight. It's not. Thank you. Keep it us out there. All right. 70 minutes played. Thinking about a change. I'm definitely thinking Mike got in. And we go with Miguel, who we can go just a little bit deeper, actually. We might go a little bit more defensive. I do not usually like this, but the game is a little bit more important. We go with an anchor man. We're going to go with two sixes. Just shut up shop a little bit. And get Alex a little bit more central. But the system stays the same. Free kick. Adrian hit it. Oh. Didn't know how to commentate that because I thought it was going just well wide. And then it just moved back and dipped. Straight at Krangro. It's a good hit. Anyway, De Silva now with the ball. His ball in. It's cleared away. But surely we just pick it up and can keep it. Got him now. De Silva. Whip it. Why shoot? You have Adrian running back post. Just put it to the six-yard box. Just the decision-making. You're a good fullback. Watch him score now. Politino's ball in. Headed into danger by Miguel. Could have let it run. Anyway, and Burgess clears, and surely Adrian is there. He's not. Anyway, can we press him and get win this ball back? Adrian, you've done amazing, the French international. He's 1v1 with the keeper. Can he finish? He's 19 in place for France. Misses chances like that. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The amount of clear-cut chances we freaking create and miss is a joke. It is a joke! Still 3-1 up. Thank God. This game should be put to bed now. We are going to make another change here. And he's going to be Nagai. We're going to just drop him back. We're going to bring Chris Robertson on for the first time this season. And he's going to play attacking midfield on attack. And with the last change, we'll just go light for light somewhere. There we are. We will bring like Rab on. Because he's a bit tall, just in case we need him from a corner. But there we go. We've won in the Europa League. Thank goodness for that. Obviously, after drawing the Stanley Age in the last game, we get a win against Florentina, who beat Olympiacos. There we go. We win 3-1. Once again, we dominate. Once again, we miss all that clear-cut chances, and we're lucky to score. It's a deflection. It's a tackle that goes in. And then it was the last one. It was a free kick from Adrian. There you are. Anyway, I'm going to... Send the assistant, and that would be that. For everybody there on YouTube, we'll be back with the Olympiacos game soon. For everybody on Twitch, we've also got Chelsea in between and someone else. I actually think we've got Chelsea, in the, Chelsea international break, something else, and then um, Olympiacos. But we'll be back in just a second, YouTube. Don't go anyway. Welcome back, YouTube. It is Damien. It is Sunderland. It is Bright Lights. Here we are with the second part of episode 65. Um, we've gone fully rotated for this Olympiacos game because we have Man United in a few days' time. It's a massive game for us. But we've gone with Smoothies, Pedro, Kim Jan, Van Dyke. The Silver's not going to play. It will be Wallace. 
There we are. We've gone with Dosek because I'm going to play Durant Miguel. Got in the guy, Silva, Rab, and Marquez. If you want to know what happened in between games, we drew three for Chelsea in a game we were poor in. Nickers Adrian scoring the 80, um, 96th minute to equalise with a banging effort from about the 18-yard box. And then we went and drew with Brentford. We were lucky to draw on that one. We actually changed the system. We played. We tried to play a 4 3 3 with two sixes and got in playing as an eight. It didn't work. We had 60% possession, but only three shots two and didn't create. In the end, we changed to like 4-2-4, four, four, and Nakamura just produced the goods all of a sudden out of that. I really feel for Nakamura because we played with wingers. He would be nailed on. You know, you're going to be a great player for us and play like over 100 games. Unfortunately, we just don't. There's a part of me in this tactic because we just don't create enough um, to go like this and play Nakamura there, and we actually play with like that and play a weird 4-2-3-1. Um, but maybe it's something we can figure about in the future. Anyhow, we are going to get into this game, and it is a massive game for us as well. We'll see how it goes. HBG just drops on one. Hopefully, he jumps in the stream. He is one of our mods. Um, Pedro Arthur's lucky match fitness um, since he gets in there. By the way, I signed Sergi in my Leicester save. That's Unreal Jackson. We are live on Twitch, as always, though, YouTube. Link in the description below. They're playing 4 2 2 2. We match up very well against that. We played against that many, many moons ago. We won 9 0 in a game. And that was in qualifying, I reckon. That was with HK, I reckon. We won 9 0 last time versus that formation. Anyway, I'm going to say opposition instructions, ask that, and look, just because I don't have the um, the width that we do, uh, my team's motivated regardless of the result, we should be okay. Anyway, away in Greece will be difficult, but I'm looking for a professional performance, and Kim Jan and Van Dyke have a very good rapport at centre-back, so I'm comfortable putting them in. Smithies has been better than Diogo this year, and saying that, that Diogo let in two goals that was his fault in the Brentford game, and then made two outstanding saves to keep it at 2-2. So I don't know what to make of it. Anyway, it's a highlight. Anyway, um, Silver runs into a brick wall. Resting, Haller picked up another knock in training, so we had to rest him. Anyway, can we press in here and win it? We don't. Do we force him long? We don't. We do now, eventually. Can we win it in the air, though? Kim Jen heads it towards Godin. Godin's going to lose out, but surely it will be Pedro Arthur, the Brazilian international, who is captain today. And we'll find Wallace. Wallace now with the ball. Still with Wallace. Running down this left-hand side. Great ball in, but it doesn't find it over his man. Finds Thomas and the guy. The guy and the Godin. Got in now, can he turn and hit? He doesn't. Instead, he gets to the ball on back post. Marquez doesn't win it. It will fall to Isaac Silva. Good pressure from us. Can we just find that last killer ball? Pedro's bullying towards the back post. Marquez is there. And Rodrigo Marquez scores. And that's what we want to see. We're one new up here against Olympiacos. That is what we want. Marquez there, back post. After a good ball from Pedro Arthur. And we are one new up in Greece in a very important game. Marquez with the header, and there we go. And um, what I'm doing with the YouTube series at the moment is we're going to be focusing a lot on Europe in the group stage, and then in the back half of the year, we're always going to do a Europa League if we get through the group, of course, or Europa League and a, and, and, and a Premier League big tie if there is. Um, that's what we're going to go with. Anyway, Marquez chips it back post. It's headed away. The guy's going to get on at Thomas there. He lays out the Kim Jan. Kim Jan now, the Korean international. God in loves a strike from distance. Mike! Oh, I thought it bent back into the top bins. Unfortunately, it didn't. But very, very good highlight indeed from us. There we are. And the guy's taking a knock and appears he wants to come off. Um, maybe. Anyway, that frustrates me because every time we play the opposition, they score. And somehow, Van Dyke has headed it into the post from five yards. Just, yeah. Anyway, ball back post. Kim Jan, can he get up? He doesn't. The fall to Rab. Rab's headed towards Van Dyke and eventually hoof behind. There we are. Could have fallen anyway off the clearance too. It wasn't controlled at all. As my dog barks me to let her back inside, which we'll do after this game. There we are. Yes, Milky, I'll let you back in. Silver, Kim Jan, back post. It's headed away, and that will be the end of the highlight. Great start from the reserve boys here at the moment. Wallace, though, throws it in. Looking there for Marquez. Marquez's ball into Rab. Rab, can he bury? Rab, great save there from Durabavaka. He used to be at Newcastle. I can never pronounce his name. Anyway, ball was with Isaac Silver. Whips it in. Back stick. Kim Jan doesn't get up. And there we go. It should be the guy's highlight. Uh, well, it should end with the guy on the ball with the highlight. But it doesn't. And Dosek now with his ball there in the Van Dijk. Van Dijk now, and that is the highlight. Look, dominating the game. Once again, though, not putting Kelly Cup chance away. Marquez from the free kick. Hits it just over the bar. That's why I like Adrian on the field because he does put free kicks in, which is good. But not why we signed him. We signed him to be quality. Isaac Silva, back post. Kim Jan has put it over the bar yet again. Another clear-cut chance. Look how many clear-cut chances we're creating, and there we are. It's the same story. Clear-cut chance, miss. Clear-cut chance, miss. They create a clear-cut chance, 1-1. One, one. Generally how it goes. Anyway, boys, I'm going to tell them that we are very pleased with how it's going. Keep it up, because this is the reserve boys, and they're out there playing very well. 
Anyway, Gabardini, another name that, you know, people know, and Schlupp. They've got a very old, experienced side of Olympiacos, but physically they're all lacking. We should be on top of them in the youth that we do have. Rab, though, into Isaac Silva. Silva's ball and got in. Gotti can hit this. What a save. Marquez, I thought he was offside. He is. It's disallowed. And there we go. Marquez, just relax. It looked offside. And we are only one nil up. It was miles offside. I couldn't guarantee you it was miles offside. He was on. It looked offside live, but he was onside. Okay. Linesman. Really? There we are. I'm not going to blame him because I thought it was off. But he was just on. We go on to draw this game slash lose. Problems. Anyway, another highlight here. Ball to Marquez. Marquez down. In to Wallace. Wallace now with it. Still with Wallace. Just runs into no man's land. Can we win that with Kim Jan? He does. He's done superbly well. Nagai now with the ball. Thomas is about to come off because he has got a little bit of an injury. Not going to need to get, get him to play against Man United. Wallace now. Can he whip a good ball in? He does. Headed. Got in. Oh, my. Would have been a great goal. Instead, it's over the bar. We are going to make a double change here. We are going to bring the guy out wide. And he's just going to experiment with this a little bit. And he's going to go to two up top. Bring Nakamura in, who's been sensational this year. Wish I could play him. And we are going to bring Robson in for Godin, just so he can play this Man United game in a minute. And just bring Robson in as a Mazzala on support. Make the double change here in Greece. We should be okay. Marquez, it would be a nice time to score. Great save from the keeper, though. The Newcastle keeper. You know, Drew, I can never pronounce it. What's his first name? So we just know. Martin is having a great game. Anyway, as time ticks away here, we are dominating. But the longer it stays at 1-0, one, one, one the more I get worried. Because we know what's going to happen. It's going to be a corner. And Olympiacos is going to kill us. Anyway, Rab now. Ball in. Pedro Arthur surely can whip a good ball in. Instead, he plays Robson. Robson there. Finds Dosek. Dosek out the other side, surely. Finds Wallace. Wallace whip it in low and hard. He doesn't. In the end, it will fall back to Wallace. Wallace now. Can he just turn? He doesn't. He goes all the way back to Dosek, which is fine. Dosek now. He has numbers. Switch of play is good to Pedro Arthur. Pedro's ball in, blocked. I'm waiting for the counter. I'm just waiting because we've made such a mess of this. Robson's ball in. Marquez, 2-0. You can always count on Rodrigo. It is game over. We are going to be one draw and two wins in the Europa League. Thank goodness for that. There we are. And that's the main thing this season is trying to win the Europa League. There we are. And finish in the top four if we can. I would, look, if someone told me you finish fifth but you win the Europa League, there we are. Marquez yet again, back from injury. I know he's going to be a good little striker for us, back from his injury. He might have to play second fiddle, but he's done well anyway. This is the quarter we talked about. 100% they score. Smithies claims and claims well. Anyway, 31 shots in the game, and we've only scored two, and it took us to the 86th to score, or the 87th, whatever it was. 85th. There we are. Anyway, Marquez free kick. End in spectacular fashion. He does. It's a hat-trick for Rodrigo Marquez. Um, he didn't score on his right, did he? Get Smithies his first choice. Might have to. Diogo just concedes. He makes great saves, but he just concedes. We might have to get Smithies his first choice. Anyway, the ball in there, and you can't keep it out. And there we go. Anyway, the ball back in to Trunko. Trunko now in to Machele. And Machele, there goes long. It should be game over as Van Dijk heads away. Edwards now on it. The ball gets out to the left-hand side. And it just goes out. It should be for a full time. As the game gets back, hopefully it is. And it is. Full time. We win 3-0 there. Look, in terms of the group stage, unreal for us there. Very pleased with the result and the way you played. Obviously, everybody had a good game. We are going to continue there. And there we are. We do have Man United coming up. Um, going to just very happy with that. We're going to send the assistant, obviously. We win there. Classy Mark was there, obviously, as well in our the Europa Cup. Um, after three games, it looks like Florentina did win that game there against Standard, which is not good for us. They won at least at home. So hopefully Standard can do a job of them away from home. Obviously, we drew the Standard away at Belgium. But we did beat Florentina. We have beat Olympiacos. The next game that we do play in the um, thing is we do have Olympiacos at home. And then Standard. We're going to do those two ep those two games together as an episode, I reckon. Um, we'll talk about that with the YouTube thing. In terms of when we will be back next time for the next YouTube episode, for everybody watching on YouTube, we will be Olympiacos. And it will be the Standard game. And then we will have Florentina, if needs be, as another episode. If it doesn't... If nothing rides in that game, and say we're guaranteed top, you won't see that Florentina game. It'll just be on the stream. But for everybody on YouTube, as always, links in the description below. Come follow us on Twitch and on Twitter. But as always, thank you for watching Bright Lights here with Damien. And I'll see you for episode 66 in the not-too-distant future. Thank you and goodbye.